Okay, today's song is Weil ich kann by Simon und Jan. The title translates to Because I can, which I adapted to Cause I can in the translation because that feels more common to me. And of course, Cause I can. Before I say anything else about it, let's just get into the translation. All I will say for now is that we are getting political today. Ein Eisberg taumelt müde Richtung Beckenrand. Ein alter Mann sucht in einem Mülleimer nach Flaschenpfand. Ich zoom auf meinem Smartphone Lady Gagas Hintern ran, weil ich kann, weil ich kann. A tired iceberg staggers towards the basin's edge. An old man is looking through a trash can for refundable bottles. On my smartphone, I zoom up to Lady Gagas behind, cause I can, cause I can. Ich sitz in meinem Wellness-Sessel und ich zähle Geld. Es ist grad Mitte Mai, ich hab die Heizung angestellt. Ich sitze vor dem Kühlschrank und hab untenrum nichts an, weil ich kann. I'm sitting in my wellness armchair, counting money. It's the middle of May, I've turned on the heater. I sit in front of the fridge wearing nothing down below, cause I can. Eine Firmenaktivistin springt gerade nackt durch einen Reifen. Ich versuche schon lange nicht mehr, das alles zu begreifen. Ich sitze vor dem Fernseher und ich zünd mir einen an, weil ich kann. A naked female activist is jumping through a hoop. I've long stopped trying to understand all of this. I'm sitting in front of the TV, lighting one up, cause I can. Ich checke meine Mails auf dem Himalaya. Dank Google Earth bin ich jetzt öfter da. Ich kann von zu Hause alles starten. I'm checking my mails on the Himalayas. Thanks to Google Earth, I'm here on the regular now. I can start everything from home. Ich weiß nicht mehr, wohin mit all dem ganzen Geld. Ich adoptiere mir zwei Kinder aus der dritten Welt. Zwei Jungen aus dem Kongo und ich nenne sie beide Jan, weil ich kann. I no longer know what to do with all of this money. I adopt two children from the third world, two boys from the Congo, and I call both of them Jan, because I can. We are the champions, keine Zeit für Loser. Sie winken mit dem Paddel irgendwo vor Lampedusa. Ich sitze auf meiner Yacht und schaue mir Teleshopping an, weil ich kann. We are the champions, no time for losers. They are waving their paddles somewhere before Lampedusa. I'm sitting on my yacht, watching shopping channels, because I can. In meinem wundervollen Land schießt das Wasser aus der Wand. Seit ich denke, lebe ich hier und es läuft einfach bei mir. Es läuft einfach bei mir. In my wonderful country, water shoots out of the wall. I've lived here since I can think and things are really just going my way. Things are just going my way. In meiner wundervollen Welt habe ich Zäune aufgestellt. Du bleibst bitte, wo du bist. Es bleibt alles, wie es ist. In my wonderful world, I have put up fences. You just stay where you are, please. Everything stays as is. Ich schicke unbemannte Drohnen zu meinen Feinden in der Nacht. Ich blätter in der schöner Wohnen und sitz vorm Fernseher, wenn es kracht. Ich lass die ganze Scheiße einfach gar nicht an mich ran, weil ich kann. I send unmanned drones to my enemies at night. I'm flipping through something like Better Homes, so a popular decorating magazine, sitting in front of the TV when I hear the bang. I just don't let any of this shit get to me, because I can. Now, as always, first thing I want to get through are a few linguistic notes. First stanza starts off with Ein Eisberg taumelt müde Richtung Beckenrand. Now, literally, Richtung Beckenrand means direction basin's edge. Makes sense, doesn't it? You can say a movement is a Richtung somewhere when you are moving generally towards it. So, while walking around in town, going Richtung Kirche would mean you are orienting yourself towards the church. But it can also be more specific depending on how clear the way is. A child could walk Richtung Mama while standing right in front of mom. Or you can also go Richtung Norden, so direction north. So it's really this whole thing of like, that's my orientation, that's where I'm, that's where I'm headed. Next one I want to hit on is Flaschenpfand because the concept of Pfand may not be familiar to everyone, I don't know. It's basically a small fee that you pay on top of the price of the beverage when you buy stuff in refillable or recyclable bottles or cans. So if and when you bring them back to the store, you get the fee back. And that's how you get the sad image of people rummaging through bins for Pfandflaschen, so returnable bottles, that have been thrown away. Unfortunately, there's quite a few pensioners here who do it to... Um, to bolster up their retirement, basically. 
Hintern is one of many words you can call somebody's butt in German. I went with behind for translating it here because Hintern comes from the word Hinter, which means behind. In the second stanza, I know the word wellness armchair sounds weird, but I decided on a literal translation because this is another case of creative German compounding. Untenrum is a common colloquial way to refer to the circumference of your genital area. I say circumference because of the rum in untenrum, so down round, literally. Sometimes people will use it to just refer to down there as well, but generally untenrum is a... Uh, yeah, it kind of, you know, it, it, it means like the, all the way around, the circumference. In the line, ich versuch schon lang nicht mehr, das alles zu begreifen, the ich versuch schon lang nicht mehr literally translates to I already don't try since long anymore. Now, of course, this translation doesn't work in English. So the translation I put in here instead is the closest that is actual English as far as I know. But I wanted to do you to have some insight on how the sentence is constructed in German because... There's quite some difference there, and uh, yeah, that's what will make you aware of language quirks, I think. Then yes, lighting one up, zünd mir einen an, does indeed refer to weed here. Einen alludes to joint, because joint is male in German, and so einen is the indirect article for the male gender. The word öfter will be observed by many of you to mean more often. So why did I translate it as regularly or on the regular here? See, if it were more often here, we would have to ask more often than what. Without there being more than a vague idea of that, the more likely option is that öfter is being used in its colloquial meaning of somehow regularly here. The sentence bist du öfter hier is what you might say to someone you are trying to chat up at a bar. Granted, in English for that you would say come here often. But the implication in German is not are you here more often than somebody else, but rather are you here more often than just today? So, regularly. So, in this sense, öfter means regularly. Now, the phrase, wohin mit dem ganzen Geld, I translated what to do with all this money, when literally it would be where to with all this money. Ich weiß nicht wohin damit is a set phrase to express that you don't know what to do with something, adopting the sense of not knowing where to put it. This does work with something you can literally put somewhere, of course. For example, ich weiß nicht wohin mit dieser Vase. I don't know where to with this vase. I don't know where to put this vase. But you will encounter it a lot in its more metaphorical usage. Ich weiß nicht wohin mit meinen Sorgen. I don't know what to do about my troubles. I don't know where, you know, what to do about my, my problems, my worries. That kind of stuff. Ich weiß nicht wohin mit X always means... I don't know what to do with this or about this. And then our last linguistic note for the song, es läuft einfach bei mir, is a slang expression. Läuft bei dir means to say way to go in the sense of life is going your way right now. It's also closely connected to saying läuft, just läuft, as a reply to somebody asking you about the state of anything from your life to an assignment or your general mood. Basically just, hey, how about this? Or how is this going? How are you? How are things? You can just reply, läuft, to say, meh, it's all right. Now, as the last and most important point, I want to jump back a few lines, namely to Sie winken mit dem Paddel irgendwo vor Lampedusa. Now, for those of you who don't know, Lampedusa is a small island between Sicily and Africa's north that belongs to Italy. And because of its location, it ends up being where people who are fleeing from the northern coast of Africa end up either because they strand or, more likely, because they are heading there as a first entry point into Europe and the EU. And that is, of course, where the paddle waving comes in, because, you know, trying to get attention at night or even during the day in the middle of the ocean. And this entire situation and the, and the name of the island as its denominator or namesake has been a topic of great controversy in Europe for many years because Italy is offered little to no help from the rest of the EU in dealing with a flood of arrivals that they cannot morally turn down because it will doom people to either drown or return to what they are fleeing from. So it's a moral dilemma that has to be dealt with and it has to be dealt with constantly and it, it's, it's never over. And because of its frustrating and unsolvable nature, at least for the moment, looking away is a whole lot easier if, of course, you have the luxury of that option. And that is exactly what this song is really about. 
I won't get into the details of every line or stanza because I think you should be equipped to mold that over now if you are interested in doing it, with the notes that I've given you and with the translation, of course. I will just say one general thing about Simon and Jan. Their songs typically start off kind of funny and lighthearted, and that in a weird, offbeat way. Like, you get that there's something that they're trying to say, but at first you might not catch on to it. They often deal with themes of lethargy or political ignorance and apathy. If you listen carefully enough, though, the real point will hit you hard. And uh, this song is a bit more obvious about its point than others, in my opinion, but I do encourage you to try and figure out some of the other ones that they have, um, if you feel up to it. Like, for example, Die Erde dreht sich, the, uh, the world keeps spinning, and Meine Mama, my mom. Generally speaking, irony and reading between the lines are key here. So, uh, yeah, let me know. Let me know what you think. Um, I, I really appreciate their music for, for several reasons. And that's it for today. Be sure to give my Patreon a little a little love. Uh, you can head over there and support DFA with any amount of money that you want and can afford. That's, of course, always the first requirement. And if you do so, you can get access to a number of things, among them scripts for my grammar episodes and also the scripts for these episodes. So for these song um, translations. So, uh, yeah, head over there. All the info is on there. You'll see what you get, what you can do, how it benefits me and the show. And of course, no matter what amount you pledge and what you are, you know, looking to, to get from it, what will definitely happen is that you will be in this list of lovely people that support me every month because I'm really, really appreciative of that. And without you guys, DFA might not even be around anymore at this point. So thank you very, very much for enabling me to keep doing this. And as far as I'm aware, that's it for today. I will see you in the next video. I cannot guarantee that will be next week, but I will try my damnedest to make it happen. Bis dann. Tschüss.